yes uh, shall we go with the next question yeah this is the question read the question what's given in the question Nita moved 50 meter towards north she then turned to the left and walking for about 25 meter turned left again and walked to 60 meter finally she turned to the right at an angle of 45 degrees in which direction was she moving finally we have the angles also one direction turning through angle this is a question related to angular directions as we have seen the different type of directions then let us see how this question can be worked out so for any question this is a third type of question related to, to the directions and the distance every question of this third type should be done on the paper so first indicate the directions north south east west and every question start with the center point for all this third type question start with the center point so this is the starting point of Nita Nita moved 50 meter towards north so she has to travel 50 meter say this is the 50 meter towards north Nita moved 50 meter towards north now she is in this direction she then turned to the left left means she has to turn in this direction left means towards the west uh, turn left and walking for about 25 meter now towards west 25 meter 25 meter means this even diagram also should be according to approximate scale when we took this is the 50 for 25 it must be approximately half of this don't draw the line like this more than 50 meter this is a 50 meter that's why 25 means half of approximately 50 this is 25 meter she started here she walked towards north 50 meter then she took left turn and walked about 25 meter from there turned left she was facing to west turned left in the sense she has to move towards south from here for Nita this is going to be right why because she is facing to west and this is going to be left from here she turned left and again walked 60 meter 60 meter means till here it is 50 we know 60 means extend little bit this is the 60 approximately she walked 60 meter towards south now she is facing to south from there what happened finally she turned to the right means for example i am nita now i am facing to the south i have to turn through my right how many degrees 45 degrees now i am in this position 45 degrees means i should turn like this this is exactly 45 degrees this is my initial position if i turn like this it is 90 degrees so half of the 90 degrees is exactly this is the 45 degrees means in this corner direction from here if she turns to 45 degrees this is a direction in which she is facing what is this direction it is nothing but between south and west so your answer is going to be option c southwest so your answer is this is southwest now she is facing finally southwest so option is c your answer for this question is going to be c this is how we work out the question with the angular directions shall we go to next question yes yes one more question based on the angular directions yeah, can you read the question a man is facing northeast he turns 90 degrees in the clockwise direction and then 135 degrees in the anti-clockwise direction which direction is he facing now is the question in fact this is very easy question if you understand the directions if you have the sense in finding the directions this is a very easy question you need not to work out anything on the paper visualize something you apply to it yourself think about the directions then you can get the answer within five seconds i'm sure but only thing is in the question it is given clockwise and anti-clockwise what is clockwise and what is anti-clockwise for example now i'm standing like this to me the clockwise direction is to my right and anti-clockwise direction is to my left now i am facing to 
So this is the north, south, east, west. We know the basic directions. Now I am facing south. Anticlockwise direction is to my left. This is my anticlockwise direction moving. And the clockwise direction is this is the clockwise direction. This is important understanding the clockwise direction and anticlockwise direction. Now coming to this question. These are the basic directions. Here a man is standing here. A man is facing northeast. North. A man is facing northeast. This is the northeast. First initial is facing northeast. He turns 90 degrees clockwise. Means this is the clockwise direction. This direction is clockwise, and this direction is anti-clockwise. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. Initially, the person is facing northeast. He turns 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. 90 degrees means to which direction he has to go. If he looks at east, this is only 45 degrees. 90 degrees means here it must be 90 degrees. What is his direction? A man facing northeast and he turned 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Now what is his direction? This is nothing but southeast. He is facing now southeast. From there, then 135 degrees in the clockwise direction. This is the first position, position 1, or initial position. This is position 2. From there, he turned 135 degrees anticlockwise. Means this is the anticlockwise. 135 degrees he has to turn. 135 means here to here this is 90. This is the first turning from here to here. This is 90, but totally 135. 90 plus 45. This is the 45. This total is 90 plus 45. 90 plus 45, which is equal to 135 degrees. Now, in which direction is facing now? It is north. So your answer is going to be north direction, which is uh, A option is east, B is west. C is south, D is none. So none is going to be your answer for this question. Your answer is D, none. This is how we work out the question. Here actually we don't require the pen and paper. Do it practically in your mind, visualize something. You will get this quick solution in 5 seconds. We don't require to work out this question more than 5 seconds, I am sure, if you practice by visualizing the question. Now, shall we go to another question? Yes, guys. Shall we take other question? Yeah, just look at the question. Uh, what is the question? Ravi walks 10 km towards north. From there, he walks 6 km towards south. Then he walks 3 km towards east. How far and in which direction is he with respect to the starting point? This question is very, very important because of we discussed about the three type of questions. One is related to clocks and second type is related to shadows and third is distance and angular direction. Here in this question, two things are asked. One is the direction is asked at the same time. Another thing is distance. Two things we need to calculate. This is a very important and special type question also. Then let us see how this can be worked out. It is very clear this is a third type question. That's why we need little bit paperwork. For that, first we take the basic directions, north, south, east, west. And always the starting point must be from the center exactly. Now let us see. What is the question? Ravi walks. Ravi is a guy. He is walking 10 km towards north. Towards north, he is walking 10 km. Say this is the 10 km. Ravi is walking 10 km towards north. From there, he walks 6 km towards the south. This is the 10 km. Here to here, this is the 10 km. From there, he walks 6 km towards the south. Now, presently, he is facing to north. He has to come back. Why? Because he is traveling towards south. He has to come back 6 km. Say here to here, this is 6 km. He traveled 10 km towards north and he came back 6 km. Now he is facing to south. His direction is towards the south. He traveled 6 km. Means what is this remaining distance? Total it is 6. He came back 
total is, is 10 he came back 6 km the remaining must be it is 4 km let us see what happens from there he came back 6 km towards south then he walks 3 km towards east from here he travelled 3 km towards east this is the 3 km towards east and then this end end of his journey he started from home towards north he traveled 10 km from there he walked towards south 6 km means till here he came and from there he traveled towards east 3 km that is the ending it is the starting point and this is the ending point say yes and e starting point ending point in the question what is asked how far and in which direction how far and in which direction uh, is he with respect to the starting point this is a starting point ending point starting to ending point with respect to starting point means we should able to see the ending point from the starting point if i am looking at the ending point from here in which direction i am facing this is nothing but northeast now he is facing to northeast so one answer we got he is towards northeast and one more thing is not check the options what are the options given 7 km east, 5 km west, 5 km northeast, none. So, first option is wrong. Why? Because option A is east, but here our answer is northeast. So, option A is wrong. And 5 km west, this is not going to be west. So, option B is wrong. The final it is left C, 5 km northeast. Northeast is okay, but we are not sure that it is going to be 5 km. That's the other option is none. That's why we have to calculate whether it is 5 km or not from starting to ending point. How are you going to calculate starting to ending point? This distance we need to find. It's very clear there a right angle triangle is formed. So here it is 90 degrees. This is the hypotenuse. We know how to calculate the hypotenuse second to Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. And this is side 1 is 4, 4 square 16 plus side 2 is 3, 3 square 9 which is 25 which is hypotenuse square. Then hypotenuse it is nothing but from starting point to ending point it is square root of 25 which is 5 kilometer. So 5 kilometer northeast option C is right. For this question your answer is going to be C. 5 kilometer northeast. This is very important question because in this question two things are asked to find out. One is the distance, shortest distance at the same time direction.